Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Welcome to the channel. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I'd like to show you a couple of uh, little time-saving tips and tricks in Microsoft Excel. Uh, these tips and tricks work in all versions and um, they work like this. Here I have some products and the dates purchased. If I want to add more limes then I know that I could type the word limes uh, or I could copy and paste the word limes or I could even auto fill using the auto fill button but what I want to do is to hold down the control key and simply press D and control D copies the information from the cell above we'll type a date of purchase in here we'll say the uh, 2nd of April 2014 and um, that's fine Oops, we'll just scroll back up there now, Control D copies from above. What if I wanted to add more lemons? If I type an L and an E, it looks up the column and it says, is there anything starting with LE? Yes, there are lemons. It is guessed correctly, so all I need to do is press the tab key and fill in a date. We'll say the date was the 21st of February. 2014. So, so far so good. Now I want to add uh, some more oranges. Now I know that I could type OR, but what if I hold down the ALT key and press the down arrow? That gives me a list to choose from. That is a very, very handy time saver. I didn't have to create a drop arrow to choose from in a drop down list all I had to do was hold down the ALT key and, the, and then press the down arrow this is really handy <coughs> where you have lots of names perhaps in uh, uh, personnel departments where you've got uh, a spreadsheet with lots of names of staff members etc and you can choose by simply holding down ALT drop arrow so I'm going to add some oranges there and I'm going to say that those oranges were purchased on the, uh, uh, the 4th of April 2014. Now, this is all well and good, but what I want to do is to be able to sort easily. Now, a very quick way to sort and a very quick way to set out your uh, data is to convert the information to a table. And the way I do that is simply to make certain, first of all, that the information in various columns is uh, what we call consistent that is this is all text these are all dates and if I make certain also that there are no blank cells blank cells can uh, uh, cause more work to set the table up so at this stage I see I've got headings and then data now if I click anywhere in the data and go to the insert tab and choose insert table it says where's the data it's guessed correctly because there are no blank cells and my table has headers yes it's put a tick in there there are my two headers okay and what that does that gives you a banded b-a-n-d-e-d -E set of rows to make the data easier to read and importantly it also gives me these little drop arrows and the drop arrows in the table enable me to sort so if I click the drop arrow I want to sort the products A to Z and that is exactly what it has allowed me to do now I want to add more apples so I'm going to click here in this cell and hold down the alt key and press the drop arrow and I will choose apples and we'll say we purchased the apples on the uh, 3rd of uh, May 2014 and because I'm in a table, you'll notice that the table has automatically expanded to uh, take care of the extra data. Now all I need to do is to click on the drop arrow and sort A to Z and the apples have been put up where they came from. So nice and easy, nothing too hard about it. I see also that the dates have been, um, uh, have been uh, taken care of. So whenever I bought that product that's been sorted, 
the actual date on which I purchased the products was automatically taken care of. So remember, Control D copies the information from the cell above. Alt drop arrow enables you to choose from the cells above and when you convert the data to a table it enables the sorting of information to be easily handled. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe unless you've already done so. We love likes and comments and see you next time.